Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an HP laptop and in this video I'm going to take you on a step by step how you can open it up and how you can remove or replace or even upgrade the storage on here. And you can upgrade this storage up to 2 terabyte NVMe, very easy to do it. And just remember by upgrading the main storage in here, you're not going to have any operating system on the new storage which are empty so i made a really short video how to create your windows 10 usb boot drive and i made another video how to install it properly on your hp laptops those links can be found in the video description in case you want to you don't know how to do your your windows installation it's really simple and so for this part just a demonstration just make sure you back up your files in the cloud or external you want to power off the laptop completely don't put on a suspension or hibernation or anything like that turn it off grab yourself a screwdriver set i'll be using an ifix screwdriver set and from this tool set i'll be using a phillips number one as they have one of the best screwdrivers out there these are made out of s2 class steel that means they're really tough in the steel if you do get the pro set they do include you with the tweezers and some opening tools if not for the opening tool i'll be using a guitar pick a metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. Now on the bottom of the laptop here, bottom cover, you're gonna see a whole bunch of screws and there's a hidden screws right inside this hole right there. All the screws down here, they have a little C-lock on the other end of the screw that will prevent the screw coming out entirely. So all you need to do is to rotate the screw until you feel like a, it's all loose enough. That's what you wanna do. You wanna do that to all the screws, they, including the one in the, these holes, the one in the middle. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and supports me to make more videos, take your questions, requests. I appreciate that. All right, once we loosen up all the screws, you want to grab the opening tool. You want to put it between the bottom cover and the palm rest right there and then top cover and then you just want to twist it like this really hard and you want to work yourself on the front end same thing here and then you're going to see this nice opening and everything should come out pretty really soft and easy and there we have it and right away that we can see that we cannot put any 2.5 inch uh, mechanical drive there's no space for mechanical drives anywhere in here or a solid state drive which is the same size pretty much so there's no way you can fit a 2.5 inch drive in here the only drive that you can fit is a M nvme m.2 right in here so you can do this one now to upgrade the storage or remove it you do not need to disconnect the battery as long as you power off the laptop you're safe if you don't want to disconnect the battery just pull this jack back this cables back this jack grab it and pull it back and that's it but you do not need to do that as long as you turn off you're safe i recommend you to get the samsung brand uh, ssds these are really durable they do give you a samsung brand but this is a low class i'll leave the link for a good samsung brand this is a 980 pro you can put up to two terabyte in here so they're really durable to remove the m.2 all you need to do is to remove the screw right at the back end of it tiny screw and the m.2 will come out in 45 degree angle just like that and then what you want to do in here what you want to do in here is to just grab it in the same 45 degree angle and pull it backward in a 45 don't lift it towards the ceiling otherwise you're going to crack the dim or the ssd now once you got the new ssd in here you can get a uh, samsung brand whatever brand that you like and you want to make sure the notch on the ssd matches the notch right on the dim in the corner here. So all you want to bring it down in 45 or 35 degree right in there, has to go snap in there. And then you want to push it towards the motherboard, make sure the screw hole is nice, nicely aligned. And it comes up, push it back, and then you want to put the tiny screw right over, and that will hold the uh, M.2 in place. There is not enough clearance here for a heat sink to put in here. So you can have it like this. There is no need for a heat sink after. You only need a heat sink for M.2 
after two terabyte, up to two terabyte, there's no need for any heatsink. But right, once you put the new drive in, if you have disconnected the battery, we can plug it back in. And last thing down here would be to just grab the top cover, bring it down, squeeze the corners, the side, the back, just like that. And one last thing is down to here to just tighten up the screws. Don't put it, put it firmly, don't go crazy tightening it up. Just as long as you feel like it's enough, it just hold the cover in place. And that should cover this video. And this is how you can upgrade your storage for your HP ProBook 445G7 model. Again, I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.